This here is the all new Apple Vision Pro and after some discussion with my viewers and fans, I went ahead and purchased this one. Now this one costed roughly $4,000 which is still a hefty price tag and my wife is still asking me was it worth it. So please if you enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe as my marriage actually does kind of depend on it. Now together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out and seeing exactly what is the whole hubbub about? Now, I see videos of people walking around cluelessly and they look like they're in some other world. So hopefully I don't become that, but I can already see myself doing that, which is kind of odd. Now, the idea behind this is to kind of give you augmented reality in real life. In other words, you can go ahead and create screens, you can create menus, and it'll actually save them there, which is really cool. Now, get, think of it almost like Iron Man uh, in real life, where Tony Stark's kind of doing things like that without actually having an Iron Man suit, which we actually, we kind of do, but uh, yeah, so today we'll be unboxing as well as trying it out. So if you guys like this video, again, comment, like, subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so check it out. So this is the packaging. This is how it came. I went to the uh, local Apple store and picked this one up here. So this here is the basic 256 gig. Uh, it does come in different variation of sizes based on your own personal liking. I think this is more than enough. Obviously, down the road, I might regret it, but we're going to go ahead and check it out. Let's open this thing up. I mean, it's such a simplistic design, but it's definitely overwhelming. That thing looks really cool. Definitely something out of the future uh, is the best way of describing it. All right, so set that to the side. Got two different accessory packages here. So it's just a user manual. All right, double loop band. And this here is gonna be our battery pack, our USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, and then also even comes with a power adapter. So that's kind of nice. Apple actually included that. Uh, again, for the pricing, they probably should. It has a little cover here on the front, but you just go ahead and take that off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so off the back, this thing looks pretty crazy. I mean, it's not like a cover. It's actually a transparent plastic from my understanding, uh, which actually has um, these uh, variety of different cameras. Let's put this over. Wow, this is so trippy. I, I probably look ridiculous right now. Actually, I look like I'm from the future. Look at that. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right, so it says, press the digital crown to begin. All right, so we're ready to go now. Uh, I went ahead and unboxed it, pretty simple stuff. This thing here is the battery pack, almost feels like an iPod or like an old school iPod. Um, but yeah, you do have to kind of keep it on you. So it is a little confusing at times, but you do get used to it eventually. So I'll put it in my back pocket there and uh, take my glasses off. Now to wear this, it is actually pretty interesting. So uh, there's a part here that kind of pops right off. So you can go ahead and fit this the way you like it. You can clean your lenses, stuff like that. And it is kind of front heavy, so you do want to go ahead and adjust for that. Now, the way they told me this was to go ahead and first use this dial here and kind of loosen it like this. And you hold it with your left hand there and your right hand here. Bring it back and then kind of find the right perfect position. And then just kind of dial it in. From there, it shouldn't feel too heavy. If it's too low, you kind of go ahead and like lower it and stuff like that to kind of mess around with it until you get the right perfect spot. Now, it should be clear vision. And I already went ahead and activated this. This is what I see and this is what you see. Now, you can also technically uh, airplay what the vision is seeing uh, to an iPad or iPhone so you could see what someone else is seeing while they're wearing, which is kind of cool too. But anyway, so right now I'm just in my normal world. Nothing unique, nothing new, although there's some cool robots here. But uh, from there, I can just simply hit the right button here. Boom! It'll go ahead and pull up our menu, just like that. Now, very familiar icons with the iPhone, stuff like that, which is really cool, you know? And then uh, you have your Apple TV, your music, your photos, your mail, your messengers, and your Safari. So the way this kind of works is, for instance, if I click on Safari here, I just go ahead and look at it and I pinch. And that's the cool thing behind it. All you have to do is just look at it and pinch. And somehow it like detects that. You don't have to like a cursor or anything. But anyway, so this here's my Safari. Pretty cool. So a pretty big screen. You can go ahead and even make it bigger like that. Hey, Google. Or you're going to go ahead and make it even smaller like that. Now, if you see a little line on the bottom there, you just go ahead and look at it, pinch it. Now I can go ahead and drag and drop this wherever I want. I can even go ahead and throw it too like that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab that back and bring it back in and bring it down. Uh, I can place it wherever I want. So if I want to place it like right here, I can just keep it there. 
Now, as I look around, I'm looking at the camera, I can walk into the other room, I could go to the bathroom, not sure why I would want to with this thing on, but if I come back, it'll still be there, which is a really cool aspect behind this thing. Now, all I have to do is kind of look at this, I just go ahead and pinch, and then I have this keyboard that pops up, which I can also place wherever I want. So if I want, like right here, I can just type in uh, delete and K, whoopsie, K-H-A-N, and ah, conflicts, that's me. So I pinch, and it will go ahead and load up my YouTube channel. So I can watch my videos here too. So the way you scroll, I don't know if you already noticed, you hold the pinch button and you just bring it up and down like this. And also notice my hands are all completely like, it's like a green screen kind of deal, which is really cool too. So for instance, I wanna watch this video here, just pinch on it, play, and watch an ad. Dear non-stick surface. How cool. You're great for scrambling eggs. Don't you love ads? to drive on. All right, let's get the ad. Up until today, majority of the robotic And I watch this, I'm watching my video. Industrial use. Go lower the volume a little bit. Now this thing does have spatial audio, so awesome part behind that is if I look over there, I can hear it behind me. If I look here, it's in front of me. Make it bigger screen. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. So you can like sit down and watch TV, eat popcorn, and yeah, I mean this is absolutely crazy. So pause that and bring it smaller and just we'll just, we'll just leave that right over there. Uh, I can open up another screen there and then I can bring this out and then make a new screen. Put it over here on this like by the front of like Iron Man like that and then it's gonna keep it there. So I can make as many screens as I want and the nice thing behind that is like for instance I can go about my day, take off my headset, come back later in the day and it'll still be there even tomorrow too which is really cool. So it's like a permanent fixture but you just gotta keep this thing powered on. That's that's the main thing. Now I can go back to my menu, menu here. Now you also have uh, Apple TV which is like those immersive experiences that you can watch. So you can see these different immersive experiences. I don't know why I only see black. I think it might be because I'm screen recording so they don't want me to record this video but it's a it's really cool immersive experience it kind of shows you like you're in a in a in a room and you're underwater at one point things like that so I'm just gonna close that off for now but yes that is actually pretty cool so you can go to Apple TV and you can watch all your movies on there they have a lot of different things that you can choose from and yeah it's kind of up to you so we'll just leave that there and then we'll go over here now uh, we have other things as well so we have our photos uh, so the nice thing about photos is that I can actually um, take a picture, so I press the left button here, boom. It'll go ahead and pull this thing up. I can either do a photo or a video. If I do a photo, it'll take a picture just like that. You hear that iconic, classic iPhone like photo thing, the shutter. And then from there, I go into the menu, go into photos, pinch. I can pull up that photo. And this is taken today. He even shows the time and he has this 3D perspective of it. So I can bring it here. Wow, look at that. I can make it bigger. Whoa, I can get really into it. And that's actually cool. So it kind of gives it like a really unique perspective on things like that. So you can definitely have a lot of cool memories watching it and then you could also do like an immersive experience where it does a full 180 degree. And yeah, that is actually a really cool concept. Let's close out all that. So that is photos, you can do videos and you kind of relive that moment. So really cool stuff there. Now obviously they have the app store so you could do other apps as well. So they have different games and things like that. Or you can even, uh, you can up with your Mac where you can technically use it as a digital screen um, and they project on what onto there. So you can just like use this and like, you know, do editing. It's, it's actually really cool. Now, aside that, they have other things as well. So like this year's Encounter Dinosaurs. So this year is like a game. Uh, okay. All right, cool. This is first for me. I'm not sure what's happening. I hear music, but I don't see anything. Am I supposed to see something? Is it because I'm screen recording? Oh wait, oh there it says an Apple original. Fairview portals, whatever that means. Oh, feel free to explore, but stay aware of your surroundings. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Creatures in the experience can't see me, what? And may react to you. Okay, this is cool. Encounter dinosaurs. Starts. Starts. Oh, a butterfly. That's cool. Hi, butterfly. Can I interact with you, butterfly? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Come back here, little butterfly. Come back here. Come back. Oh. Come back here. Oh, whoa, 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 all right. 
This just opened up a whole new world in front of me. Uh, okay. Oh, I hear a little, little, little. Oh, hi, little guy. I know how this works. <laughs> little dinosaur. Jurassic Park. Big dinosaur comes. Yeah, you know, I, I don't want any of this right now, to be honest. Like. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have fun with the hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hello. What's your name? I'm sure there's gonna be like either like a bunch of them showing up or like a big one. That, that that's how it always starts. Okay. Hi. Hello. Yeah, that's the little butterfly guy right there, right? Okay. Hi. Oh, hello. Yep, you're gonna come over here, aren't you? Yes, you are. I know you are. Huh. Come here. You want something? Yummy, yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, I knew it! <laughs> it's coming! She's <laughs> gonna hide over here. Ah, crap! <laughs> Why did I pick such a small room to run in? <laughs> here, you want a YouTube pillow? No? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, darn. Okay, hi! I don't mean any harm. I don't mean any harm to you at all. Okay, yep, you are coming out of the screen. Yep, this is kind of weird. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't have arms. Oh, no, you do have a little, little arms. Okay. Oh, look, I'm petting it. Uh, um, hmm. What? Yep. Oh, wait, you, your, your girlfriend's over there. Or your wife. I'm not sure. I, I didn't mean anything, okay? Yep, yep, you can go. I'm just gonna chill over here. Have fun. <laughs> this is so weird. Man, it's so clear here. This is ridiculous. Oh, not you two. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, yay! Oh, okay, it's closing. Yes? Bye! Oh, that was so trippy. Okay, cool. <laughs> So that was our dinosaur immersive experience, which I have to say was absolutely, it felt real. It felt really, really real. So yeah, that is included in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yes, obviously, you know, you have a lot of different things that you can do with this thing. So, I mean, it's kind of up to you on what you want to do with it. Now, another nice thing is that it has environments. So for instance, if I want to choose an environment like, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, we'll do this one right here. So the nice thing about this is I can actually use the dial and spin it. And this will essentially seclude me from the outside world. So obviously I don't see my room. So this is great like if I'm on a plane or if I just want to be alone. <laughs> so I'll be on top of the mountains, but I can always go ahead and fade it back by spinning the dial, bring back to reality. So that is actually cool. So you can literally, it's up to you on what you want to do with it. And that is the real kicker behind this thing. It is literally the future of technology and there's so much you can do with it. I can already imagine the possibilities going forward. And yeah, I mean, you do see some videos outside where people are like walking about and I kind of curious exactly how does it feel to do that. So let's take it out next and try it out. All right, so we're outside here on this beautiful day. Got my good old robotic dog, of course my robotic shoes and then my exoskeleton as well. It's the only way to walk around the block wearing these. Now, uh, right now, I can tell you off the back, is go and simply open up a menu here, and I can see everything that I want. I can put a video here. I can do so many different things with it, which is absolutely a blast. So let's go ahead and go around the block and see what people think of it.
sorry. <laughs> He's a little new. And yeah, I mean, so far it just seems so natural. Even in the outdoor lighting, I have to say they did a great job. Now again, you can go ahead and pop up different menus just like this. Uh, I can go and open up Safari. I have my Conflicts YouTube page, simply opening like that. Now I can go ahead and watch my videos outside. And again, I can go ahead and pinch this and like put it over there. And I can go around the block and it'll still be there, which is absolutely cool. Now that itself is actually a unique kicker behind this. So you can go and create a unique atmosphere. So have like different checkpoints and different things like that. All right guys, so check it out. So this here is the future of editing. So actually have uh, it set up with my Mac tower right over here. Now it's actually linked together. So whatever I do with my mouse and keypad is actually gonna mimic it on here. So I can make like this screen bigger, I can make it smaller. Cool. And they'll actually like kind of correspond with it, which is really cool. Absolutely. Now, a nice thing about this is that I can actually control everything. So I still have my screens here from the actual Vision Pro that I can use, but I can also even like make this bigger or smaller based on my own personal liking and essentially create a really unique environment for the way I would want to do some editing. So that is absolutely cool. So again, really up to you overall, but yes, this is actually a really cool tool because you can go ahead and technically make a variety of different ways in terms of editing and making something that's more custom fit to you. All right, well, there you guys had it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys had any questions about the Vision Pro, I'll do my best to answer it. So be sure to go and comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.